Number seven, a trash compactor can reduce the volume of its contents to 0.35 their original value. Uh, neglecting the mass of air expelled, by what factor is the density of the rubbish increased? All right, so first let's just take a look at the density formula. Density is equal to mass over volume. And let's just make up a volume that we have, all right? Let's just say that the original volume is, um, it doesn't really matter. Let's just say we have one liter. It doesn't even matter the unit, okay? Let's just say we were originally starting with one liter, all right? Now, if this is the initial value, and it then the contents are reduced to, right? Not by, but to uh, 0.35, their original value. All I need to do is take this original value of one liter and then multiply it by that decimal 0.35. And obviously the math here is easy, right? This is 0.35 and this is now the final. So the question is, how much does it go up by? How much does the density go up by? So if I looked at this in terms of my original density, right, I'll call this density initial. And by the way, make up a mass too, if you like. It, it may, it'll make it even easier to spot. Let's say the mass is 10, okay? The mass is not gonna change, okay? Because um, it said neglecting any mass of air that's expelled, whatever. So this is now 10 divided by one, right? Because that was the initial volume. So obviously this is simple, that's 10. Now let's see what happens after we compact it. So the mass is still 10, what happened to the value? It reduced now, right, to 0.35. So now let's do the division here. So it's 10 divided by 0.35, okay? So the answer works out to now be 28.57 uh, about. And now we're almost done, right? But now it said by what factor is this density of the rubbish, or what factor is the density of the rubbish increased? Right, so obviously we see it has gone up, right? But, and by how much? How many times? Well, you would take this value, divide it by this, right? To get your answer. So obviously when you do that now, we get 28.57 all over 10. So that works out to 2.857. So this is how many times the density has gone up, okay? It's even easier than that though. I mean, you don't even have to assume all these numbers. Look what happens, right? This value in the top was found okay, by doing 10 divided by 0.35, right? So if I were to now work this out, so this is 10 divided by 0 0.35, that's the numerator value, all divided by 10. How can I rework this now to find out its division? Well, I can always then, not multiply, I'm gonna say it's equal to, I can always take the numerator fraction of 10 over 0 0.35, multiply it by the reciprocal of the denominator. Remember, this is really over one. So now it's one over 10. Oh, and my goodness, look at what happens. The tens cancel. That's why I said, who cares what the mass is? Doesn't really matter because they're all gonna cancel. So what are you left with here as your result? You're simply left with this ratio, one over 0 0.35. That's it. And then when you do this calculation, get what you guess what you get? You don't even plug it into the calculator. You get exactly this, okay? So basically, you know, it, this is how it's easier understood, I believe, the way I did it. But, you know, in terms of doing it quickly, all you need to do is just divide by placeholder one, divide by then uh, the amount it reduced down to. And you'll get your answer. So, guys, thanks for tuning in. All right. Really do appreciate it very much. Hope this helped. Please remember to subscribe. Help us out. Hit the like button, too, and tell your friends if they're uh, in need of a little... Uh, little help in class as well, all right? We love, uh, we really do enjoy helping you guys. We really do hope that you're finding a lot of value uh, from what we're doing, all right? And we'll see you in the next problem. Take care.